Hey guys, I've been dying to tell you about this project we did this summer right here on the UFG campus, right behind the makerspace in the educational greenhouse we just built. So right after we built the greenhouse, we applied for the Mozilla Gigabit Fund to build a large scale smart aquaponics system in this greenhouse. So the science on this thing is through the roof. We're utilizing our gigabit internet connection. We filled the greenhouse full of sensors. Arduino sensors, open source. We made a whole manual about it on our wiki, open source, you can download it. Uh, reporting back real-time data, graphing it out for us so we can interpret the data. We're also building in environmental controls and automation, utilizing all of this extra bandwidth to create a world-class educational experience for the kids of Lycans and people all around the world. Thank you, Mozilla, for your commitment to digital equity and open source technology. Our interns this year were fantastic. We designed this thing together, we built it together. We worked in the blazing heat. You guys were awesome. Great working together with you guys. Hey, we got a winter break internship coming up December 15th. We got another one February 1st as well. We're gonna continue to build out. We got that whole other side as an empty canvas. Get on our website. There's a Google form there on our website for internships. That's my son. If he's not in school, he's in school with me. He's uh, he's great, hard worker. Putting a little siding on there. That's insulation, rigid foam, inch and a half insulation going in. We're insulated on all six sides, so it's a 10,000 gallon heat sink. This whole deep water culture bed is 10,000 gallons and it slow releases that heat to the lettuce leaves overnight so the whole greenhouse can be cold and the roots are like 60, 65, 70 and the leaves never freeze. It's our very first lettuce start going in our, our raft right here. Boom, it fits right in there. Barely, barely touches underneath. Little root coming out right there. We are launching our first raft right here. <laughs> so we've been packing this greenhouse with internet and sensors and a big, huge aquaponic system that produces a thousand heads of lettuce every single week. And uh, here we are headed into the winter season and it's still producing. Um, and then I got to throw another big thanks out to um, oh, all the volunteers that came out. Huge thanks to all the volunteers. And uh, we're going to keep building on this, like I said, and putting out a ton of DIY how-to content and some great stuff. So come over to our Patreon site and check it out. Hey, if you like these videos, like and subscribe down below. That goes a long way. If you want to see more videos, head over to Patreon. We are releasing a ton more content over there. If you want to see more, consider supporting our video efforts over at patreon.com forward slash the urban farming guys. The more support we raise, the more videos we can make. We also have exclusive content over there for our supporters. If you want to get involved, take a class, do an internship, or if you want to come volunteer with us, go to the urbanfarmingguys.com, the website, or maybe you want to come and teach a skill at the makerspace. You can make some money doing that. You can teach a welding class, teach a sewing class, uh, CNC router, CNC laser. There are a lot of ways you can get involved. Come serve as a mentor on the robotics team for a season, or you could donate tools. Uh, we have a whole list of needs on the website. You can sponsor a project that needs funding, projects in various phases that need your help. You could come to Kansas City and manage a project here. Short term, long term, you could join the makerspace and start inventing, start building out your ideas, start your business. We have studio space and co-working space as well. Go to the urbanfarmingguys.com to see a list of our needs and all the ways you can get involved. And thanks to all of you already involved. You guys are making it happen. Together we are helping disadvantaged communities rebuild from within. See you next video.